Welcome to our video tutorial series on Destiny Library Manager. Today's topic is how to create an overdue notice report that will email the notices to your students. Hi and welcome. In today's video, we're going to be discussing how to create an overdue report that gets emailed to your students. The first thing we're going to do is go to reports, patron reports, and then current checkouts and files. Now that we've selected the report we want to run, we need to make sure that the proper parameters are selected so that we have success with our report. We're going to need to make sure that checked out slash overdue materials has a check mark in the box and that we've selected all that are currently overdue. Now for this report, we're only looking to run overdues for print materials owed to the library. So we're going to attempt to filter out Chromebooks and textbooks. First thing we need to do is uncheck resources assigned to a custodian. This will eliminate the Chromebooks and textbooks that are assigned to our students in Resource Manager. And likewise, we are going to uncheck unpaid resource fines. These are fines associated with textbooks and Chromebooks. And then we're going to select Notices and Continue. We're going to limit our patron types today to students. So we're going to click Update All Patron Types, Clear All, and then select student. We want to include patrons of other sites that have my materials. So we're gonna check, check that box. Now for my materials, we're looking for print books today. There are still some Chromebooks that are cataloged in Library Manager. We're gonna to attempt to filter those out. So we're gonna click update, clear all, select regular and easy. These are the two circulation types that are associated with print materials. Press OK. We're going to uncheck resources. And we're going to leave check the materials that my patrons have and or the fines that they owe that belong to other sites in the district. Before we press continue, we need to make sure that in status, only active patrons are selected. And then we'll press continue. Now that we have our report limited, um, to hopefully exclude most, if not all, of the Chromebooks and textbooks in Resource Manager. The only way this won't exclude them is if your school cataloged um, your Chromebooks under circulation type regular in Library Manager. Um, but this should have eliminated most, if not all, of the Chromebooks from your report. Now we need to select and sort how we're going to do this. If we want to do the entire school, we would do patron name from A to Z. If we want to do a specific homeroom, we would click the drop down menu and select that homeroom. So if we wanted Janet Allen's class, we would collect, select Janet Allen's class. In elementary school, you're going to want to consider doing grade level reports. This report may be difficult for kindergartners or first graders. They are not comfortable checking their email and this is an overdue report that will send an email to the students. So you may want to do this by grade level, leaving off kindergarten and first grade. For this example, we're going to say patron name from A to Z. Now, distributed, we need to select via email. It's going to tell you you must provide a display name and a valid email address to distribute these notices via email. You're going to put your name here, whatever you'd like to put. I'm going to put Mrs. Seymour. And then you put your email here. And I'm going to put my email. Now, it's important here that you select email one. That is the field where the student email is located. You're going to leave it one page per notice. And here is where you could put the custom message to your students. I would consider asking them to bring back the books from last year and make it kind and give them the time and the grace to bring back their books. Now, here, 
You can select the title for the library images, which I recommend, the cover image, and the price of the overdue materials. And then just for extra added measure, just so the student knows that they have the correct one, select the homeroom. Now you have two options. You can save your setup or run notices. I would consider saving your setup, saving it as overdues, whatever you want, but I'm gonna save it as overdue notices, email. Now, if you choose to schedule it, do not schedule it more than weekly, and you need to schedule it after hours. So I would not schedule this to run before 8 p.m. You select your day, select 8 p.m. on Thursday, and make sure you don't run on closed days. And then you save setup. Now I can choose to run this now, or I can wait until it runs on Thursday at 8 p.m. Your other option would be to run as soon as you do the report. But if you're gonna do that, make sure that you are doing this report after hours. It is really important that this report runs after hours as it takes a lot of time for the report to run and we don't wanna bog down the Destiny server. Thank you for watching this video tutorial on Destiny Library Manager. Today's topic was creating an email overdue notice report for your students. For more information on today's topic or any other topic pertaining to Destiny Library Manager, please contact Library Media Services. For more information on the products shared during this presentation, visit our website, librarycurrent.palmbeachschools.org or visit our YouTube channel, PBCSD Library Media Services.